fishing for chickens, trying to catch a big one. White ones, are black ones, are yellow ones, are red one. Don't matter, just as long as I get one, the mama finds out. Gonna catch another licking. Mama don't like nobody fishing for chickens. This is Thursday, 22nd, 10.30. I'm heading up to Beardsley to go fishing. Tuesday I went out to uh, Don Pedro and only fished for one hour. My son was out there and after about an hour he was ready to go so I didn't really spend much time. It didn't look like there was much happening there anyway. Don Pedro has been so low that Moccasin Point, which is a good place I like to fish, was completely empty this year. Um, it was nothing but a creek running through. Problem with that is all the aquatic insects, which is 80% of what the fish eat, um, die. So it's gonna be a couple of years, I think, before that water gets back to uh, decent fishing. I'm sure fish cruises in and out of there, but I don't think there's be a whole lot of activity going on in there for a while. I like to be surprised, go down there and find some fish, but I didn't find any fish. Didn't see any action. Um, so, just as well. So I'm heading up to my favorite spot, up to Beardsley After Bay. Um, I'm kind of hanging out here at Zoe's in, in Miwok. Sterling, my brother-in-law, is going to meet me. We're going to try to do a little more detail on uh, um, videotaping and pictures and you know whatnot for, for this vlog. So I'm just kind of hanging. It's funny, I was sitting at home and I was going into a shed in the backyard and somewhere out in the forest, I heard this crack, 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 boom. So it sounded like a huge uh, tree, probably a pine tree, one of the bazillion dead pine trees around here. One of them sounded like it cracked and fell over. Hopefully it didn't, hopefully it didn't hit a house or a person. I took a quick drive around. I didn't see anybody working in the area because I know they've been clearing some trees from the high power lines. There was nobody around. So it was a tree and I heard it. So it must have made a sound. You know how that goes. The tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to hear it. Does it make a sound? There's always somebody there to hear it. That's my answer. But anyway, so we're just kind of hanging. Got some mocha. And waiting for my brother-in-law to show up. He's grabbing a quick little breakfast and he'll probably show up here in about 10 minutes. We'll be on our way. called Hartley Lake. Not a lot of people know that. Hartley Lake. Dedicated to Russell E. Hartley in 1957. But the reservoir is called Beardsley Reservoir. Try damn project. So, over here by the, this is actually, I guess the control gate where they control the water release. Well, I was going to go fishing, my favorite fishing spot, and I got to thinking, 
Wait a minute, I think the regulations ch changed. We used to fish this all year round. Fortunately, I was able to get a signal down here, went on the Fishing Gate website, checked the regulations. We're closed. We can't go fishing here until last Saturday in April. Darn. So plan B, we'll go up and take a look at the Beardsley Lake, or we might head over to Pinecrest. At least I'm staying out of trouble. I'm not getting fined for fishing where it's closed. Always check your eggs. Alright, <clears throat> so plan B, Beardsley After Bay is closed, didn't remember that until I got on the, down there and went, oh I better check the regs, yep, the regs says it's closed until last Saturday in April, so this is second best. The only reason I'm out here is while we're hanging around looking, I'm watching fish jump. So hey, that's a good thing. So, get some line out. And we're gonna see if we can find some fish. Here we go. I'm opening up my one of my pouches, and that's gonna be my stripping basket where I'm gonna strip the line into, especially when I catch fish. Today I put on my fast sink line. I'm gonna get down deep. I might change over because I'm seeing some trout jumping on the surface. Wind's kicking up when we got here, it was nice and calm. But anyway, I got my shooting head, so 25 feet of uh, lead core line, LC13, pretty fast sink, and a running line behind that. The idea is to get down to depth. I put on a, a shad imitation. We'll work that for a little while. Um, that doesn't seem to track. I think I'll throw on a woolly bugger. It's hard to get away from the woolly buggers because they do so well. Yeah, it was calm when we got down here. It was like glass. Uh, now the wind's kicking up. Typical. Was it almost 2? Yeah, 1.30. We'll go out here for an hour or so. Um, see how things go. Beardsley Lake is a little tougher for me because it's just so wide open that trout could be anywhere. The after bay very narrow and there's only so many places a fish could be so it's much easier to find fish that's why I was going to go there first and it's why my favorite although I've got some nice German browns and rainbows out of here <clears throat> I have a feeling though this lake will be inaccessible after tomorrow it's supposed to start snowing Friday Friday night Saturday a little bit light snow Sunday so <clears throat> switch off and go to my put my selfie stick in my camera and we'll go from there this is what I'm doing holding my stuff here as I'm going give it a bit of action up, 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 up. hey all right Good way to show how to do it. Catch fish at the same time. 
got a few bites, but this is the first catch. Let's see if I can land them. Doesn't feel too big. Yeah. I don't mind keeping them. Ah. There we go. First fish of the day. Yippee. Woohoo. hard. It's fighting nice. So maybe Beardsley Lake is the place to go. I like the shad imitation. Oh. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. Fish too. Fish too, yeah. So I'm having fun. Quite a few hits I missed, which is always good. It means they're biting. You just gotta get better at hooking, that's all. Got two. Hoping to have five in no time and head on home. Beardsley, what a pretty lake. Probably be inaccess inaccessible by tomorrow because of the snows, but yeah.